Hey everyone, welcome back. Crown Geek here. Now you might be still on Windows 10 or earlier version of Windows 11 like 22H2 or 23H2 and you want to upgrade to the newer version that is 24H2 but the problem is that you might be not getting the update here or you might be on the unsupported hardware but still you want to upgrade it and you want to upgrade without using any kind of bootable USB then watch this video till the end because I will be sharing the easiest way to upgrade to the latest version of Windows 11 that is 24H2 without using any bootable USB and without having any data loss. So right now I am on my Windows 10. You can apply the same steps on the Windows 11 older version. Now the very first thing that I would recommend you guys that keep clicking on the check for update option and also make sure get the latest update as soon as they are available option has been also enabled. In case if you are still not getting from here and even let me show you that if I run the PC health checkup, my computer is not eligible for upgrading to Windows 11. You can see here this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirement. Now this can be because of the secure boot, this can be because of the RAM, this can be because of the CPU or the TPM, whatever the reason is. And still if you want to upgrade, then watch this video. Now next what you will have to do, bring up any of your browser. I Windows 11 ISO download in the search box and then you have to click on the first link download Windows 11 from the Microsoft next it will give you three different options Windows 11 installation assistant create Windows 11 installation media and download Windows 11 disk image so we have to download the ISO here so go with the last one click on the drop down and choose Windows 11 multi edition ISO click on download now Next it will ask you the product language and this is again a very important part guys. Now you have to be careful here. You need to choose the same product language that you have currently installed on your operating system. Like right now I am on my Windows 10. So in order to find the current language I will click on the Windows search type CMD. Click run as admin. Click on yes. And type here a simple command that will be DISM space for slash online space for slash get dash intl and hit the enter key now this will let me know that what is my current uh, ui language and that is english united states so now i know what is my current language in my operating system now i can close it and choose the same product language here click confirm and click 64 bit download so now you can see that downloading will be started and it's around 5.4 gigabyte which is approximately around 1 gigabyte lesser than the earlier version of Windows 11 23H2. Alright so now you have to wait until the downloading is being completed here. Alright so the ISO has been downloaded now. Next you have to extract the file of this ISO. So make a right click on it and choose extract to Windows 11 24H2. Now in case if you don't have the extractor like WinRAR or the 7-zip then you can download that very easily from the internet that is absolutely free. Now you also might have a question in your mind that why basically we are extracting the ISO file to this folder because we are on a unsupported hardware and if I run this ISO right now and click on the setup click on yes so it will show me the windows installation page and when I click on next, very soon I will be getting the message that this PC is not supported for Windows 11. Alright, so it's checking the PC now and very soon, here we go. This PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirement. Okay, so this was the reason why we are using this small trick. So click on close. Now look for the folder here that we extracted, Windows 11 24H2. Bring it up. Then here you have to look for a folder by the name sources, double click on it and then you have to copy the path from the top here. So select it, right click on it and choose copy. Again click on Windows search type CMD, right click on the command prompt, click run as admin, click on yes and the black window of the command prompt will be up. Now here you have to type CD give a space now make a right click here and the path will be automatically pasted of the extracted folder of this location all right so once pasted hit the enter key 
now we will be inside this particular folder location and here you have to type setup prep prep dot exe be careful don't make any mistake here it will be setup prep dot exe space forward slash product space server and again hit the enter key now once you hit the enter key again you will find the installation page will be up and it says install windows server so don't get confused here because it will be installing the windows 11 only we are using a small trick here now next before clicking on next here you will have to click on change how setup download update and choose it to not right now so that the process can be easily applied and then click on next now this time it will be checking for the system requirement and it will automatically bypass it so you can see it checking our pc now we will not be getting any error and it has successfully been bypassed all right so click on accept here and this is another important screen that says choose what to keep keep file setting an application keep personal file or nothing so we don't have to delete anything so we will keep the file setting and application everything so keep this selected to the first option only and click on next and then you will be getting the final message here ready to install or install windows 11 pro key file setting and application so you will have to click on install and the installation of windows 11 will now be started so again you have to wait until it's all been done Okay guys, bingo. So now you can see that we have successfully upgraded to 24H to Windows 11. So let me do one thing. Let me go and search here for Windows version. I will type WinWar and hit the enter key. And boom, now you can see we have the version 24H2 OS build 26100 And you can see we have not lost any kind of data here. Everything has been saved. And we even did not use any kind of bootable USB. So this is how guys you can easily upgrade from Windows 10, Windows 11 22H2, 23H2 to the latest version of Windows 11 that is 24H2 without using any kind of bootable USB on unsupported hardware and without losing any of your data. And if you guys found this information useful make sure that you hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.